BC Outdoor Sport Fishing TV is brought to you by Yamaha, Rapala, Maple Ridge Chrysler, Lawrence, Duncan Lodge, Port Boathouse, BC Outdoors Magazine, and Mayhem Fly Fishing. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoors Sport Fishing. Got a special guest. We'll call you special, Mike. Oh, I feel special. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to the show. <laughs> yeah. We're in a familiar, familiar spot. Yeah. Right? This is behind us is Little Decca. Yeah. And we fish lots on these lakes around this area, but especially this lake. We spent some time on this lake. But never targeting Lakers. Yeah. So I was excited when you suggested, why don't we do a Lakers show on Decca? I don't think I could type or type yes fast enough to you I was like, yeah i'm in yeah. yeah now you got me out of my element yeah, that's right sure. good yeah so the plan for today is again so deca lake a big deca lake is what uh about five and a half hours from the coast right and we got small lake small narrows that opens up to the big lake and that's where we're going to go fish today up in the big lake right yeah big lake steep yeah 300 feet deep and uh, has a native population of lake trout. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And there's lake trout, decent size in that there too. And there's there's lots of lakers there. Yeah. Lots and lots, Comparatively, right? yeah. yeah. And we're seeing the seeing the spoils of the hatch is already going yeah, on Yeah, right already now. starting up. So again, so we're gonna troll spoons for lakers. Yep. And uh, no, we don't need downers, we're just run lead core, something different too. Yeah, early in the spring like this, mm -hmm. um, the forage fish tend to be up close eating chronomids yeah. and bugs and the lakers chase them into shallow water. Yeah, so. okay. Yeah. Sounds good. So we'll drop the boat in, we'll make a run up, and we'll be fishing in no time. Yeah, and I just hope, like every other year, it doesn't pour rain on us again today. Well, it is the caribou. <laughs> <laughs> There's no guarantees like that. So let's hop, let's get the boat in. You can help me get the boat in, and we'll, we'll head out. You bet. Okay. <laughs> that was so big he took a coyote spoon and he bent it in half no way hit. yep wow yeah it looked like a <laughs> it looked like a little v when it came in <laughs> let's get tropical you ready to get a fish Oh yeah, he's pulling good. See him back there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should slow her down there a little. Yeah. It's always uh, always better than trolling him along a bit. We want to make sure we get that hook set though. Oh yeah, we've got the hook set now. Yeah. We're not we're not messing around anymore. There, well, we had a couple of hits right there, right? Yeah, or maybe bottom for one. Well, that first one, that. I think, was a fish. That's a lake trout. Hey, you see the brown on it. Yeah. <laughs> see, here he comes. Oh, it's, <laughs> man, that's the water nice and clear, eh? Yeah. Not doing much, is he? Oh, I uh, trolled him out there back <laughs> a bit. A nice uh, size fish, too. Yeah. Now he did. See, Mike, I'm not just about coconut. Yeah. There you go. Nice fish. Yeah. Oh, they got teeth on them. There we go. Nice fish, Mike. Good one. Yeah. What do you think? Three pounds? Four pounds? Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah. There he goes. Awesome. 
Good stuff. Well, we saw him come up off the sounder anyway. Yeah, and there he's going. Yeah. Yeah, and we saw quite a few more in there. Yeah. So well, maybe we'll go back that way. Yeah, you bet. Check your leaders. We'll be. Maple Ridge Chrysler. We're closer than you think. Welcome back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Hey, it's stuck. There we go. Yeah, that looks like a nice one. Hmm. Do you need a help with the motor there, Mike? I just put it in a neutral. Okay. Like towing a log. Yeah, again, we came over that little shallow yeah. hump there, and there they were, eh? Yeah. I think I'm on your line here. I think it might be on your line, Mike. Oh, get, I'll reel in. Get out of the way. I think we're good. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you just did have a hit. I just, uh, I got too excited about the, <laughs> the goings on. It's pretty shallow here too. Yeah. You can see bottom here. You're very good at finding the. Yeah, the rocky bottoms. The most shallow parts of the lake. Well, that's a better fish. Oh, it's not gonna fit the net. Oh, I don't fit the net. <laughs> Come on, big guy. Nice one. <laughs> nice one, Mike. That's probably your biggest caribou lake trout. That is a tank. It's gotta be, <laughs> oh, it's in the 12, 14 pounds, isn't it? <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, let's get this out of the way. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh yeah. We got that one on the takeout. I think it might be that gel you're using. You've got three more hits than yeah. me. Of course, I do believe you're deliberately keeping me in the deep spot on the lake yeah. while you're yeah. going through the shallows. Let's see what this guy looks like. Oh, he's not as big. He looks like a good candidate for a release. Yeah, that's nice. Come on there. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's a good release. Yeah, perfect. We'll take that as a good release. All right.
Hello folks, we're gonna to talk to you about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, the rods, these are the rods, these are basically our kokanee downrigger rods. We're gonna repurpose them to use them for lake trout. How's that sound? Oh, it sounds good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we're doing it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Um, the reels, we're just using a large Arbor level wind reel and the line we're using is lead core line. And this is something we've, I use lead core line early in the season and, and that's what you're talking about is they get some lead core. We don't need the downriggers for Lakers. They're kind of up on the surface, but lead core gets it down just deep enough, right? Yeah, before the thermocline sets up on the lake, the fish are quite often in shallow or yeah. shallow water. So you lead core is a different way to go than a yeah. downrigger. Yeah. And then we just ran a 12 pound liter off of that, probably about a eight foot section of 12 pound liter, eight, eight to 12 pound liter yep. down to a, a coastal snap. And then we we're just running spoons, straight spoons, which is great because we're just fighting fish with a spoon, right? So, and we're using, the, uh, the you like the live image ones and these are the ones you asked about bringing up, right? So we've got the green and the blue and the live image. Right. Three and a half, four, up to six, you're saying, for Lakers, right? Yeah, well, you saw a couple of the Lakers there spit out kokanee oh, when we yeah. brought them in. Yeah, so like there's huge. those those two spoons and those two colors to me. I've always represented yeah. kokanee or bait fish the best. Yeah, yep. awesome. And then of course we, I like to I like to add some scent, whether it's the mask, my scent, human scent, or just add a little little bite, a uh, little different scent for those fish to take. And today we're using the bloody tuna, super sticky stuff from Pro Cure. And we did catch fish after we started using that. You put a little on there, and we went for a bit of a roll. Yeah, right? you went you went on a roll there, and I know it couldn't just be luck. No. So I put a bit on too. Or yep. Skill, not yep. skill either. Skill. That's, that's what, what I said. I think yep. I said skill. Yep. yep. And of course, uh, today what we're frowning too is we're we're look, constantly looking at the sounder, and we have that HDS 12 live, uh, HDS 12 live on there, and that just picks up everything. So we could see the speed of the boat we're going, and the depths and the contours, and we saw fish on there, right? So once we started seeing fish. Oddly enough, we were getting into fish. Yeah, it wasn't a shock where we caught fish. <laughs> no. There was nothing, nothing, some structure and yeah. fish, right? Yeah, awesome, great. Okay, folks, we're gonna follow up a quick list. I hope to see it on the water. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. It's the Duncan B. Difference. Book your adventure now. Get action. Do a thing. Be sane. Don't fritter away your time. Closed captioning brought to you by the world famous Duncan B. Lodge, located in beautiful rivers in Lat BC. Nice. Uh, don't be too speedy, Speedy. No, no, he's there. Yeah. <laughs> Atta boy. Well, that's a good fight. Do you want to play this one, Mike? No. Okay. I'm really enjoying this. This, see, I don't, you know, I like to share. Well, hey, I, I appreciate for the first time we've come out, it's not pouring rain <laughs> on us. Oh, you just said that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, here he is doing the death spiral. That'll be an easier hook release, I think, too. Yeah. I'll put it back into gear here. Okay. <laughs> We're in 37 feet of water. Okay. Oh, now you fight. So yeah, if you were gonna eat some of those, those are probably the size you wanna eat. <laughs> Beautiful go. fish. I'm gone. Easy release. Lakers, nice. eh? Deca Lake Laker. There are more fish out here than just kokanee. Yeah. 
Do you guys have an idea what angler days are on this lake? Yeah. Is there a lot? Um, not as much as Sheridan, but no. around Bridge, 15,000 angler days yeah. a year. So. That's including ice fishing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and it, it's on the border of being a large or small lake, so it's about around 1,000 hectares. So yeah. That can support that number of, uh, of angler days quite nice. You notice there's a few boats around, but it's not really crowded. No. When it opens up to this big, bigger side, it's even, even when there's been events on this lake, derbies and stuff, it's not that, there's lots of room in this lake to fish. Yeah. Oh, I think we finally found your specialty. I, no, I don't know a about char, that. I don't know about that. A char fisher, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Well, the results aren't lying. No, <laughs> right. Yeah, gotta, maybe you want to switch yours up a little bit. Well, I think so. I, again, I'm uh, using the exact same color spoon, though. Yeah, but since you put that Pro Cure gel on, you've had almost every hit. Yeah, I got some more of that if you'd like. I think I might have to try. Yeah, yeah. You're sitting on it though. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a problem. <laughs> Maybe you're. Uh, are, how many colors did you go? Well, see, you've been lying to me. You've been using the sounder and yeah. locating the fish and then putting it out to the right. Yeah, I'm out. Out to getting a block. That's where you should go. Block? Okay. Yeah, that's... I better check mine anyways because it hit bottom there. Yeah. Introducing HDS Pro. Watch fish reacting to your lure live with Active Target 2. Get game-changing clarity in the megahertz range with the new Active Imaging HD Sonar. Find the richest fishing spots with CMAPS charts. Take full control of your boat with the ultimate fishing system, HDS Pro. The more you see, the more you catch. The coconut is super sticky sauce. That'll work too, yeah. Yeah, let's try that one. Look at that screen. What a beautiful day. Yeah. Any day is a good day when you're out fishing. Unless it's raining like a... <laughs> Last time we went fishing together, I started to build an ark when I yeah. got home. <laughs> that bridge lake was something, wasn't it? No. <laughs> if you don't like the weather of the caribou, wait 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. It's been all right this morning. Nice fish, and but it's just, we're not, we're not seeing anybody else catching fish, so it's not what we're doing. It's just, sometimes the fish are just not cooperating, right? Yeah, sometimes it's the weather too, right? Yeah. <laughs> here, Mike. There you go. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna put a neutral here. I'm gonna reel up my line just anyway. That was a good hit. Yeah, these are nice rods. Yeah. Lots of uh, lots of bend, right? Yeah. Good shock absorbers. Yeah, nice and soft. Lead core this time of year, it's a good yeah. way to go. Nice soft rod like this. Mm -hmm. Lots of fight when I catch those bigger ones. <laughs> oh, when we catch those. Oh, that's bigger right. Ones. Yeah. Sorry, Mike. That's right. No problem. Yeah, I saw, I saw your fish. Yeah. A 
this one definitely has a little bit more weight. Oh yeah. I like the bend in the rod. Oh yeah. It's oh, going oh, good. Oh. Yeah. I don't even see him yet. Do you? No, I don't yeah, see I him. Oh, I see some color down there. Oh yeah, it's a bigger fish. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there we go. This one might be close, Mike. Yeah. Well, it shows this. Like I said, a little more oh, on look, some of these a, lakes than coconut. That's coconine. a great looking fish. That's <laughs> Yeah. Holy. He's taking some line. That's a good fight for a Laker. Oh, yeah. This is a good Strong fish, by the way. Fish. <laughs> Look at the rod just buckled. Get him out from under the boat here. What a fight. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there he goes oh, again, again, right down him. to the bottom. Oh, he's a good one. That's a bigger fight. This is not going to fit. <laughs> It'll fit. you got to make a new. you got to do oh, it, Mike. Holy smokes, this guy's a tank. <laughs> you got to do it, Mike. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey. That's a twin, and he just burped. <laughs> oh, look oh, at there's that. A, up, that's really. a piece of coconut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's yeah. a better fish. Let's flip them over the other side here. I think it'd be easier, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Give him a little rest there. A minute. But still, uh, I mean, a beautiful I fish. Yeah, a lot of lakes. These are near trophy size for the interior yeah. here. Well, it was a successful day, laker yeah. fishing. Yeah. I know it's one of your favorite things to do. <laughs> well, we tried something different today. <laughs> yeah, we did. Know, normally we do the kokanee thing, and yeah. this, today we are showing that some of these interior lakes have uh, other species worth catching too. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, we had a, we had a good day. We yeah. caught lots of fish, missed a few, yeah. but caught lots. Caught lots through the boat and various sizes as well too, which is yeah. great. Yeah, there's a couple of nice fish in there for yeah. an interior yeah. lake trout fishery, right? This isn't the far north where the fish are old and slow growing. This yeah. is a interior lake trout. And then ended up the day, we decided to come down into Little Decca and see if we can't sniff something out. Nothing happened though for us with kokanee, but it's okay. Yeah. We had a good day. Like I said, good right up to about you know, three o'clock in the afternoon. The bite was on over there. Yep. Right. Yeah. And I think if we stayed with Lakers, we could have got some more. But oh, for sure. Came down here, unfortunately, or fortunately for someone, the chronomid hatch is on and the yeah. kokanee are focused on other things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But again, I can't thank you enough. It was, it's fun fun doing shows with you because you always learn stuff, right? And I was, I usually got 50 or 60 questions for you. Right. All about stuff I can't put on camera because you just don't want me to hold the answers. Well, I'm with the government. Right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. But anyway, thanks for coming down again. We'll, we'll do something again. We're talking about the fall or maybe Quinnell Lake coming up. So we got some options coming up again. So. Probably see you again soon. Yeah, love to love to have you out there and see what we're doing on uh, some of the big rainbow fisheries. Right on. Yep. And thank you, folks, for joining us on BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. We look forward to having you join us on a future episode. Mm -hmm.